Hi guys, this is Ed from The Art of Dark and Esoteric Detective. I've got a video here I thought you guys might be interested in from my other channel, which is The Art of Dark. I cover much darker topics on that channel, but if that's your thing, come out and check out the other channel, which is The Art of Dark. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hi guys, this is Ed and welcome to The Outer Dark. Well, as you know who follow this channel, for the last few days I've been researching the work of DC Hammond. For those who, of you that haven't seen my previous video, just check out the link in the comments section. But basically, DC Hammond made a famous lecture to a conference on multiple personality disorder in 1992 regarding a mono narrative he found in his patients. This led him to the conclusion that a large number of his patients were actually people that suffered from some kind of brainwashing as a child. Now within this, which was a program seeded by Project Paperclip after World War II, when experts in mind control were brought over from the Nazi program and integrated into the United States mind control program, namely the ones we know about like MK Ultra. Now what does this have to do with anything? Well, within his lecture he talked about certain bloodlines of individuals prone to being part of this program. In fact, you had to be the certain type of bloodline. So this led me to the idea that perhaps the bloodline in question might be something called RH negative. The reason behind this is because the RH negative blood type in individuals actually is more prone to multiple personality disorder and mental illnesses. So I thought it might be a logical jump to assume that this might be indeed the bloodline they're talking about which is synonymous with those in power might actually be the actual blood type which is RH negative. Well stay tuned guys as I bring you five reasons they are abducting RH negative blood types. Number five, first some context, what is the RH negative blood type? Well all cells have a protein called antigens and about 85% of the population of the world world have the RH antigen in their blood type. That is, they have an antigen from a monkey called the rhesus monkey. But there is a 15% of the population concentrated mainly in Europe which do not have this rhesus monkey gene. That is, out of 600 plus primates, they have no relationship with, with a common antigen that is shared by the vast majority of the populace. Number four, so their blood is fundamentally different from the population. In fact, people with RH negative blood types cannot breed naturally and have children with people with normal blood type because the RH negative individual's own bodies will cannibalize the child, that is the fetus, inside the womb. It looks at it as some kind of foreign agent and the immune system goes into overload and actually works on killing the child. At this moment, no one can really understand how this blood type came about or why it's even on the planet since it seems quite different than normal blood types. Number three, many people in the conspiracy field believe that the HIV virus or AIDS is actually man-made that is created in a laboratory. Now this is a number of researchers' perspectives but perhaps the evidence for it will come in just a logical overview in itself. I mean, if AIDS has been around since the 1980s and human history goes back millions of years, then if you looked at the timeline, AIDS came along at the exact same time that we had the technology to create it. The main kind of idea behind the narrative that it was actually created in a lab was the idea that it was some type of bio weapon. Now why is this interesting? Well because there's research that indicates that people with the RH negative blood type are more immune to AIDS than the rest of the population. Now I should just be clear here, I'm not saying that if you are RH negative that you cannot get the AIDS virus. I'm just saying that a number of researchers have stated that they believe that there's a possibility or at least some fragments of research to suggest such. In fact, including this 1996 study that showed that people with the RH negative antigen in fact had lower cases or a lower possibility of contracting AIDS. 
but it does make you wonder why this is. This leads many researchers to suspect that AIDS itself was targeted, at least by some entity, as a way to rid the world of the vast majority of the population while leaving people with the HR negative blood type intact. So that makes you wonder, was the AIDS virus made and designed with this purpose and why? Number two, there are many anomalies with the HR blood type, which many researchers say is evidence that the blood type is actually a foreign agent within the actual population that is designed because people with the RH blood type seem like they cannot cope with living on our planet. More reason behind this is many people with the HR blood type, as I noted previous, suffer from heavy mental illness, multiple personality disorder, increased stress, depression, and these are far higher rates than the rest of the normal populace. They also are allergic to many foods that the rest of us don't have any problem with, as if they weren't designed to cope with the type of food systems that we actually have. That is, evolved the actual genes over time to digest with these things like wheat or eggs or dairy. Note that there are a number of other dis differences that people in the RH negative circle, at least the groups, have outlined, and that's extra vertebrae, the fact that 70% of people that are RH negative never grow wisdom teeth, the fact that they have a lower blood pressure, and a number of researchers also claim that they have a higher IQ. But the very weird thing about this, and the thing that stood out to me, isn't any of this information. The fact that I found really weird is that there's hardly any formal academic investigation into any of this, which to me seems like almost a blackout, as if there's a purpose to not investigating this and not looking into this any further. This was the most strangest thing I found out of the whole entire affair. I mean, if something's so odd, and you have the group of people which in effect have a different type lineage that is they don't have any connection to the rhesus monkey or any kind of connection to any primate at all then I think that this would be an intensive realm of investigation in fact there is absolutely nothing out there Number one, which brings us to the question, are people with the RH blood type, the RH negative blood type, a part of some kind of eugenics program, maybe the product of interbreeding over a vast period of time, or indeed something else? If we go with something else, um, just ask yourself, why are there 600 primate species and none of them are linked to people with the RH negative blood type? That is, there's no indication of any antigens. So what's really going on? Well, a number of researchers have speculated that these people with the RH negative antigen might be part of something akin to an alien breeding program that's taken place over the millennia. Other researchers have cited that this blood type might in fact be the product of eugenics or interbreeding over the generations and has nothing to do with aliens. But of course with something like this there are many theories and equally as interesting as the next and equally as worthy of investigation. Now if if you don't think that aliens or UFOs or a mass breeding program could exist, remember that there is a lot of information out there that proves otherwise. In fact, a lot of declassified documents. We've all undergone decades of programming. That is, we've learnt to associate the idea of aliens or other life out there as something to laugh at without even thinking about it. It's a type of ideological subversion. We can't look past our base instinct to actually not treat the subject seriously. So let me ask you this, if there really was an alien agenda, the highly sophisticated, that it infiltrated the government at all tiers, don't you think that one observant fact of that operation would be the inability of the people with inside it, the common people, to even question the idea of it actually existing? In fact, a kind of mass salient psychological wall which you can't even penetrate 
trait. Anyway, it's something to think about. I'm not saying that that is happening. I'm just saying it's interesting. And at the end of the day, you have to go out and research it for yourself and form your own conclusions. It either could be some strange coordinated pattern of alien agenda and military, both, or it could be singular, or it could be something else entirely. I just don't have the answers. But one thing is I'll keep on looking and if anything comes up, I will definitely make a video on it. In the meantime, guys, this is Ed from The Outer Dark, and if you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what you think in the comments section. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.